nice ripe bananas. I'm going to make bananas foster for you. It's supposed to go over ice cream. I don't have ice cream. And I don't eat it anyway because it's too much sugar. I do love Briar's ice cream. But this is what the bananas should look like. They're nice and ripe. Okay, and then I'm going to hit it with about a half a stick of my favorite Land Lakes butter from Land Lakes, Florida, which is north of Tampa. I'm not getting paid for any of these advertisements, okay? This is just stuff that I like to eat. Got the uh, bananas cut up. Butter in the frying pan. We got to get that melted down. And then... Got some cinnamon here, handy, somewhere. Cinnamon, put that right here so I can get to it. Maybe we'll put some nutmeg. You can also use, I'm thinking about putting a little bit of milk in it, maybe caramelize things a little bit. Um, we call it cajeta in Spanish. I went ahead and put the cinnamon and the nutmeg, along with some vanilla, in with the butter. We're about ready to throw in the bananas. And here we'll just cook them and stir them and cook them and stir them. I should have cut them up a little bit smaller, but this is okay for now. Then we're going to flambe. We're going to use Barcardi. Bacardi. <laughs> Barcardi. <laughs> they say this stuff will make you Barcardi if you drink too much of it. I'm going to try and show you this flambe, but it's going to be difficult because of fire control. I'm going to add some maple syrup, real maple syrup, into it to give it that maple flavor that I love so much. Okay, we get it cooking in good and pour in some Bacardi. Cover that. Get ready for a fire. And there is our flambe. If I don't set my phone on fire. Now I lower the heat and let it get a little bit more concentrated. It really adds up to banana and butter gravy uh, with the rum flavoring and uh, and cinnamon whatever other spices you might want to put into it I chopped up the bananas a little bit more just so you could see how that gravy will cook out of it and I think we're just about done You pour that over ice cream, oh boy. We're going to put it on a plate. Finished product. And you really could even put that on, on French toast. Or uh, eh, scrambled eggs or um, anything like that. Enjoy.